I've lived in Spokane. I was born and raised here. I've been here uh, 59 years. I drove for the North Route for five years, and everybody I served, those were my friends and my neighbors, you know, and I went above and beyond because they're not a customer. Those are people I know. Those are people I want to take care of. We always wanted to do something for the area, and we searched for a true nonprofit. The Greater Spokane Substance Abuse Council does a lot of work with the opiate addiction. We've all had issues with it, whether you had family that had issues, it caused them trouble with their income, their jobs. We've all been touched. We've all been touched by the problem. The Spokane Substance Abuse Council is not just about opiate addiction. They help the gamut. The stickers represent what we're trying to do and who we are. We're from here, we're for here, and we want people to understand that we're all in this together. It's 8.04 in the morning here on the Big Bay Breakfast, and Cindy's here from Amerigas. Big event going on today. Amerigas has been doing this pet drive for about a month now, I guess, right? So exactly what's going on? Well, our office is collecting items for the pets that are in the Huron Humane Society, and we're trying to help them find their forever homes. We would invite everybody to stop out, make some donations. It's a big deal, and we're just, we're so pleased that Amerigas gives us this opportunity and this platform. Everyone here at Amerigas, we either love pets or we have pets. It's a very good cause, not just for the Humane Society, but for the people in the area too. Most of the pets that end up there, they've been abandoned out of homes, been forgotten. Without our support and uh, other community support, then that agency wouldn't be there. These donations go right directly to the Humane Society, and it's amazing what that does. Amerigas is a great company to work for and to be able to let us do this for our community. It's very important to us. We are a big company, but we are hometown people. It's important for me to show support for first responders and firefighters because they put everyone ahead of their own family. So it's important for us to give back to them and let them know that they're appreciated. I'm proud to work for Amerigas because I know they have safety from top to bottom. Not only do they teach me all safety, they also go out and volunteer gas to fire departments and teach them safety. Anytime you have really good training, the firemen, they know how to handle propane. And I think anytime you go into any emergency situation and you're not afraid of it, it's that much easier. When customers see that we give back to the first responders, I think it genuinely says to them, hey, Amerigas really cares. Over the last couple of years, we've noticed that substance abuse is pretty bad uh, for our communities here. It's devastated the area. There's been deaths almost every day from that stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I personally had one in my family, so I know how bad it is. The organizations that we contribute to have a better understanding of what actually needs to be done. We give to other organizations and charities around the state and country because we care about it. We want to help you know, from the heart. We gotta start somewhere. We gotta get the message out. Service is a big part of the Marigas situation. That's what makes us the company that we are. We care about our community. We want to see it get better. It's not about recognition, it's, it's something that you, you want to do as a person, just help out the next person. It's all about the relationship. If they trust us, they're going to call us. I chose to work for Amerigas because they care about giving back to the community. That's important to me, that's important to everyone here. It's not just a job working for Amerigas, it's a part of our lives. I am from here and I'm going to do everything that I can to make it the best community because I'm for here. <laughs>